Hello, welcome back. I'm Noreen Burke, owner of Carl Clutter Fairy Home Organizing, and this is my YouTube channel, The Crafty Organizer. In the last video, I went over my favorite craft supplies and tools, and I got a resounding response that many of you also save ribbon scraps. And I loved that because it meant that number one, I wasn't alone, but number two, it gave me an idea for what can we do with those scraps. We're coming into the holiday seasons. I am not rushing the end of summer, nor am I rushing in the next season. Okay, maybe fall, but I'm not rushing into the holidays, but I do like to think ahead about crafts that I can make. I love making little things that I have in my car that I can drop off whenever I see a neighbor, a friend I haven't seen in a long time. Sometimes I carry them with me and as I'm shopping for the holidays, I'll hand them to salespeople as I interact with them and it just makes me feel good. So I love making small little gifts that I can have on hand that are super inexpensive and I saw a lot of ideas that I can do just that with with all of those scraps that I have. So let's get started. Now, whether you have your scraps all together just in one bag or box, or whether you break them down by size and color, I'm gonna find something in this video for you to get to craft with these scraps. So the first one, and I know many of you have seen these ideas before, the scrap ribbon wreaths. And these can be done with a form. If you don't have a form on hand, you could always take a wire hanger and shape it into a square or circle. But these are a super cute thing to do with your ribbon or fabric. But you can also segue into the same idea and make garland. And when I saw this particular one where they had taken a string of lights and used the ribbon on it, I thought it was super cute and a fun festive way to not only use up the scraps you have, but match your decor for the season. These little bookmarks I think would make a great gift year round and it doesn't take much scrap. But these are just extra buttons and those little rubber bands that you can get at the Dollar Tree. Just a simple ribbon, and you stitch each end either with a sewing machine or by hand and you've got the perfect little elastic band for a book. I thought this one was really cute. That if you don't want to sew anything and you want to be simple, you can make these little tiny bows and just glue them onto a paper clip. How easy is that? And if you really want to go simple, just take the length of a pretty ribbon, tie some little beads or embellishments at the end and you've got a pretty bookmark. Now I know tassels were really big for a little while. It's not something I've ever gotten into, but when I saw this particular tassel as a keychain, I thought it was pretty cute. And that made me think of all kinds of things you can do with tassels, whether it be adding them onto packages, pillows, using them as ornaments. I know you guys are super creative and you will come up with a ton of ideas for these. This was by far my favorite. And even though it's not the ribbon, it's the ribbon spool. Favecrafts.com took this ribbon spool and they repurposed it into a small gift box photo album. And I thought this was beautiful. And again, you could make such beautiful little pieces of art with all of the scraps you have. Please, somebody make this, send it to me or show me the picture of what you made. I think this is probably one of my favorite ideas and I absolutely can't wait to try and make one. Messy bows are an item I love. And the Southern Crush at Home has this great tutorial on step-by-step -step ways to make these messy bows. And the thing I like about messy bows is they look so purposeful. It looks like they were intended to be like this, but you can just use up your scraps, coordinate some colors. They don't even have to match, just either color hues or patterns. And you have a really cute bow to add onto a wreath, a package, a vignette. The sky's the limit. This one's a cute one that you could do with your kids or grandkids, and that's taking little mason jars, taking some color-coordinated scraps that are in fall colors, and either making little apples or little pumpkins. You can use this as a magnet or just hang it from the window. I thought this was a really sweet idea. Again, not rushing, just thinking ahead. Here are some cute little ornament and gift embellishment ideas that you can make with little pieces of ribbon. These Christmas trees I'd seen before, but for some reason this year it's just clicked with me. Here's what looks like ribbon candy if you wanna stitch things together. These would be such cute tags and just sweet little gifts if you made a couple of them and put them together as a set. You've also got the foam trees that I've seen lots of times and these can be really intricate and beautiful. I have a few more corks lying around through COVID. Uh, 
I usually have like one glass of wine a week and through COVID I've had three or four a week. <laughs> So I have a lot more corks lying around, but this is a cute little thing, again, just to make up, add onto a package, or making a little set of them would be a really sweet gift, and not adding any expense and using up some of the supplies you have. There are so many gifts out there. I actually had to reel myself in on Pinterest because there's little baby toys, there's pillows, there's ways to upcycle your lampshades. So be adventurous. Go check out all the amazing ideas on YouTube, on Pinterest, on Google for things to do with ribbon scraps. You won't be disappointed. But I did save my favorite for last, and that is ideas for ribbon on cards. You know I love card making. If you haven't signed up for my friend mail yet, please check that out in the description below. I love making cards. I used to make bundles and give them to nursing homes or to hospitals. COVID has made that a lot more difficult. So I started thinking about how so many of you were at home, not getting to hang out with your friends, family, and coworkers. And I thought, what a great thing to do with my cards. I still get to make them and have a reason to send them. But isn't it nice to get something besides bills in the mail? So if you're interested in that, that's in the description below. And if you would like to send me something, a little card, that address information is also in the description below. So looking through, again, Pinterest, Google, YouTube, there are so many beautiful ideas. This thank you card with the ribbon and buttons, oh, I'm totally copying this one. This particular card, though, as soon as I saw it, be watching in the mail, I'm making this card next because I love it. Simplicity by Late Blossom. And look at the sweet coordinated ribbons that match the paper and she's got these sweet sentiments on there. I know you guys have got a lot of scraps where you could duplicate these cards super easily. So check out that website. If you have some other ideas of what you do with ribbon, please leave it in the comments below. And if you're not familiar with my Call Color Fairy Support Group Facebook page, it's where we go on and we share ideas, we share struggles that we're having, we share pictures of projects and DIYs that we've done. So that information is in the description below. Be sure to check that out. This is my last thank you for my August Patreons. You guys, thank you so much. I am so excited to share what I've been doing with my virtual clients, and that is all because of my Patreon supporters. So I'll be going into September's Patreon. So if you haven't signed up yet and you're interested and can help out, that information is also in the description below, and I can't thank you enough for that support. That's all I have for today. I will see you guys in just a few days. Bye. Thank you.